hey hello guys welcome back welcome back to another video of my channel so this will be kind of a you know vlog regarding my experience of you know presenting a paper in a top tier conference so whoever is following my channel you know i have a paper accepted in a asia conference in november and i have made couple of videos regarding that how is my experience what are the things i have to do after my paper got accepted so all of these things i have already done uh, so the conference name is triple ai and uh, it's actually happening in uh, in physical mode in uh, washington dc and uh, in my previous video i told that i might not be going uh, for the conference because of the visa issue and that is what happened uh, though i have applied for visa but you know it took some time to process and eventually it got approved today only so today is 9th of february so it's almost end of 9th of february it's uh, 11:40 uh, in the midnight 11:00 pm so eventually i couldn't attend the conference physically uh, to give my talk uh, so there is a provision of uh, giving the talk virtually also so this uh, conference is happening in a hybrid mode uh, so today i have to present the work uh, so this is a 15 minute presentation plus 5 minutes q&a uh, so let's see uh, i'll try to show you everything what's happening Uh, i'll try to record the my screens also uh, so what's happening uh, that side whoever is asking question and all you can listen i'll try my best to show you everything uh, so stay tuned yeah so this is the kind of the portal uh, which is showing the whole schedule uh, so if you if i just select the triple i technical track uh, so all the all the schedule for the first half is done now uh, so it's got started around 9:30 pm uh, because it's happening in their time uh and if you today is 9 february so if i go to 10 february yeah so this is the slot that i have and my session is uh, graph machine graph is machine learning to yeah so this second one uh, this is my talk uh, that is uh, christian and digital prediction knowledge to ns property prediction so already the pre recorded lectures are there uh, in case the author uh, didn't turn up during the presentation the pre recorded uh, videos will be will be replayed Uh, but yeah, it's obviously better to give the talk uh, by yourself, not a pre-recorded version, and take the Q and A uh, online. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm waiting for this. So obviously, session chair. I I don't know whether how many people know him. So he is a professor at IIT Delhi, and he is also working on graph-based machine learning. So that's why he is the session chair. So it's uh, 12:24. Uh, the session is about to start, and I have joined. and i'm just making all setup ready so that there is no you know last time problem or issue because it's online happening so uh, as i said my talk is on the second so first one is someone uh, so he's already there so welcome everyone uh, to the after post lunch session on graph based machine learning um, so i'm san ranu i'll act as the chair for this particular session we have four exciting talks lined up first two talks will be over zoom and the next two talks will be uh, in person um, so the first talk will be given by yifei jhang on spectral feature augmentation for graph contrastive learning and beyond so yeah over to you yifei you can unmute yourself and begin with the presentation okay so if not so thanks uh, yifei for the wonderful talk Uh, and we will now move on to the second talk of the session so the second talk i think uh, is titled crisp gnn um, distilling pre trained knowledge to enhance property prediction for crystalline materials uh, i think this talk will be delivered by kishalai das uh, i would request kishalai to please share the uh, slides on the screen yeah uh, i think it's already loaded so yeah kishalai you can uh, am i audible yeah. Yes, you are audible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. I am Kishaloy. I am from Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur, India. Uh, so today I will be presenting our work that is uh, Chris Jnn, that is distilling pretend knowledge to enhance property prediction for crystalline material. This is a joint work with Dr. Vidhi Samanta, Dr. Pawan Goel, Dr. Lee, Dr. Satyadi Bhattacharya, and Dr. Nilay Ganguly. So let's begin. So yeah, these are the links of the GitHub repo and data sets and the archive version. So yeah, thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you, Kishaloy, for the very interesting talk uh, we'll now open to questions yeah yeah thanks a lot for the uh, really interesting talk so yeah. i had uh, one question i think i probably missed it i saw that for uh, 
graph embedding you had a contrastive loss yes sir uh, for the pre training part so what was it for the node embedding i think i probably missed no it. this is for graph embedding so uh, the idea is that if two graph is coming from the same system that means if they look similar so suppose they are coming from the crystal uh, cubic uh, sister system so they are they have a cubic structure so what we are trying to do is that we are trying to uh, make that embedding as similar as possible and one more question like when you actually do the predictions um, do you use the um, the entire crystalline structure with periodicity and repetitions or you just pick one of the uh, you know one of the prototypes i, I don't uh yeah 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 so the idea is uh, the conventional way of uh, representing a crystal graph uh, is not considering the whole periodicity so what you do is uh, so maybe there's a additional side i can show you so i didn't pick it so this is how we actually form the crystal multi graph structure so we take a node we take a eight m strong uh, radius sphere around it and whatever the other nodes is coming you just connect them so this is an approximation of the whole structure so this has been taken by this paper this is the first paper which proposed this one so we are, it's not possible to take the whole structure because it's infinite so what we do is yeah, for exactly. uh, yeah yeah for each node we just take eight m strong this is also a hyperparameter that we choose so and it works well so you just take a eight m strong radius whichever is coming so suppose here you see the one green is coming so there is one edge Three yellow is coming. There is three edge. Uh, two blue is coming. Two edge. So this is how we form the uh, multi graph structure, and then we apply GNN. So when you say crystal structure, does it mean the uh, the overall structure where each of these uh, you know individual structures are like nodes? Like, do you mean the lattice when you say crystal? Structure? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it includes lattice also. It includes the lattice also. That lattice means there is this three direction and three angle. That also is included. in the in the crystal structure the original structure okay thank you okay so thank you kishalai again you, for sir. the talk we'll now move on to the third talk of the session okay, this is done uh, <laughs> i hope uh, the presentation was well uh, it's i was really i mean my you know when i was giving the talk i was thinking that what are the question they will be asking and there are there's just two question the people have asked and the question was really interesting uh yeah that's it about this uh, talk i mean it's midnight 1:15 i mean it's really great experience it would have been a better experience if i can go there and uh, give the talk and talk with these people one to one but anyway uh, i i i'm i'm very excited that i've given this talk so yeah that's it about this video i hope you will like this video because this will give you a flavor of this is also part of our research that you know you do a lot of work and then finally you will present it so that's it about this video please share this video if you like this video please like it and subscribe my channel hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a video you'll get an instant notification that's it about this video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye